My dream YZ125 build is finally done. Let's check it out. Hey what's up guys, Rado here and this is 2001 YZ125 build that I've been working on for some time but it's done, we are finished and I'm so happy to finally show it to you guys. So let's look at everything here in the details. This has been a long project that I've been working for over a year. In the middle of the project I got my surgery on the shoulder and all the good stuff so it took a little bit longer than what, what I would like but we are done and I think it looks amazing. Uh, don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think about this build as we go through it or at the end of the video you pick. It started with 2001 uh, YZ125 worn out. Uh, this is a picture of it and uh, it didn't run very good, it didn't look very good and uh, it just really needed a lot of love. We took this bike completely apart and when we look at the frame uh, we found out that the frame actually was damaged we need to take it over to my buddy uh, Dallas and weld that frame fix it up once that was done we shipped it over to uh, San Diego powder coating and those guys did their magic uh, they sandblasted everything powder coated it and uh, as you can tell this beautiful red frame this is not a Honda red this is a gas gas red everything on this bike is from 2001 all the plastics everything I did not do any restyle kit so everything is 2001 but I took a little bit of the a creative approach to the color combination and I was uh, inspired by the old look of these Yamahas back in like uh, mid 80s so we got our frame uh, powder coated and once that was done we started doing everything with our bearings uh, we did a steering stem bearings brand new we did uh, hydroblasted everything uh, swing arm and everything that is uh, raw aluminum is hydroblasted so once we have the swing arm and linkage done also we pressed in new bearings uh, we greased everything and put it back together so Sano Metal Finishing did a lot of uh, hydroblasting and Cerakoting for us everything that is Cerakoted on this bike is tungsten color and everything was done by Chris Puffer down in Temecula uh, at uh, Sano Metal Finishing and he did amazing job stock bolts and axles were zinc plated by Charles from MX Revival so they now look way better than new suspension was sent over to Racetech and and uh, also we decided to do a little bit of the custom uh, touches there and we did this uh deep anodizing or you call it a hard anodizing this is a black color and it's kind of made and looks really good we did the same for the shock and actually for the spring of the shock the red color powder coating red color so everything is matching over there this is 2001 suspension we didn't change anything again i want to see how good was this 2001 bike when it came out of the showroom floor so everything is 2001 and that did a little bit uh special work to the engine we're gonna talk about it we took it apart with brad at parapros and then we shipped over the cylinder head to tom morgan racing he cut it out to 134 bore and uh, millennium plated it for us and then uh, he did this custom uh, head cylinder mat and also the piston match everything to 134 race fuel only so this thing uh, should be pretty fast and should run really good pro x crank we got a wiseco piston we got a clutch from recluse not auto clutch this is a torque drive clutch it works really good grabs a lot uh, better than the stack clutch and will give us a little more power you know coming out of those corners so we got all that andrew langston split the crank for us and uh used the pro x uh, rod put everything back together and actually balanced it better than a stack crank once we had everything back from tom morgan uh we went back to parpros uh, brad put the engine back together and it looked really beautiful as you can tell we have titanium foot packs from scar we are running this setup from Face Company that uh, Clevis in black color and the returning spring. The radiators on this build are stuck. Uh, we cleaned them and sent them over to ICW. They uh, welded the support on them, straightened them and made them look uh, pretty much better than new. We got a full FMF system with a shorty silencer. The pipe is uh, FMF Fetty and it was originally uh, nickel plated, uh, but I didn't really like how it looked. I thought it will look much better in this factory finish. So we actually stripped the nickel plating and sent this pipe over to Robbie's pipe. And he did this uh, factory treatment, welded this FMF badge on the pipe. And I think this looks amazing. So for the tank, you know, if we go with the factory blue, this wouldn't make sense for our build here. So we are using a white Clark tank 
and all the plastics uh, are from mxplastics.com and the graphics are custom made from Decol MX. I told them, hey, these are the companies I work with, throw them on the plastics and give me this uh, old school look. I want to have this old school Yamaha stuff, this Yamaha fork. And also I wanted to have my name and my flag right here. I'm from Slovakia. So it's right here on that uh, side panel. And other than that, I just told, told them to be creative and do something cool. They shipped this over to us uh, first day. They showed me the design and I said, I love it. And uh, after that, they printed it out and we have it on the bike. We installed it together with Jay Clark from Dirt Bike TV. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. I really love it. For the seat, we went with Moto Seat as we always do. Travis at Moto Seat is taking care of all our seats on the channel. And this is a Guess Guess Red, black and white. That thing looks amazing and it's matching our build. It's really good. These are the stock hubs from the bike. Then I got brand new uh, spokes and brand new rims from Task. Brad Parapos helped me to uh, put everything together and I think it looks really good. All the bolts, all the little shiny nickel plated bolts are from a spec bolt. Everything on the bike, everything on the, uh, on the engine, on the uh, plastics is from them and is looking amazing. Works Connection got a lot of little pieces and uh, since this is white, red, black, uh, combination everything that is uh, anodized from work connection is in red color front right here we are running uh, ODI bars with the ODI grips uh, I like champ band that's what feels good for me and uh, you know I just went with a stack size 7 8 I didn't want to do any kind of bracket changing to a fed bars I think this is uh, what looking the best on 2001 YZ125 Golfer, we have all the brake components from Golfer, steel braided lines that are custom made for us to match our color combination. Uh, red banjos here and also the dark gray lines. And also we have uh, oversized front rotor and uh, standard rear rotor from Golfer. All the brake components are from Golfer, so these brakes are feeling great and working even better. Of course, we are running Dunlop tires, MX33 in front and in the rear. We have Pro-X uh, front sprocket, rear sprocket, and a gold chain. It just looks amazing. When you look at the chain guy, we didn't go off to market. That's actually the stock chain guy that was on the bike before. Hydroblasted and Cerakoted it to match everything else on the bike. We are running a Works Connection clutch patch in black and red colors that is matching everything on the bike, and it feels really good. And now the cables are also brand new, Pro-X cable for the clutch and also for the throttle. We took the carburetor completely apart and hydroblasted, seracoated the parts, then got Pro-X rebuilt kit. Uh, Brett from Parapros again rebuilt the carburetor for us, put everything together so it looks really nice. It's matching the engine with all the hydroblasting and seracoating. Then we got V-Force, reed cage, put that thing in, install the carburetor and the jetting actually came from Tom Morgan Racing because once he does your, your uh, porting and your, your cylinder and everything, he will send you a sheet with the jetting uh, so you can follow that and you can have this engine run really good. Of course, we are running a uni air filter and this thing is powered by uh, VPC12 race fuel mixed with clothes R50. 32 to 1. A big thank you go to Jay Clark from Dirtbike TV who was with me from the beginning of this build and helped me on a bunch of stuff uh, with parts, uh, with advice, also helped me to uh, press the bearings in and do many things and as you can see towards the end of the build uh, on the videos we also went to his place, to Dirtbike TV place and we finished little details there, uh, uh, bleeding the brakes, installing the, the graphics, uh, doing the braking period. I think we're good Rado, what do you think? Good to me. <laughs> you wish you could ride it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to make you sad. I was already in the sling uh, with the with the hand after the surgery, but Jeb was helping me and uh, we did this bike uh, 100% we finished everything so now it is the way it is and it's ready for good testing. So Jay Clark from Dirtbike TV, thank you. So this bike is fresh. I didn't ride it yet in this form. That's because we want to have someone who really knows how to ride two stroke, especially 125s to first test this bike. So we're gonna get together with David Pingree from Whiskey Throttle Media. You know, David has been racing these bikes uh, back in the days. He almost won a championship. I think he was like one or two points uh, short of a championships on 125. We're gonna ask him once we meet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Put so much time and effort into this bike and I wanted someone who really knows how to ride 125 to give it a first this inaugural ride and uh, so thanks a lot for doing this for us thanks for meeting us here at Kawia and uh, riding this uh, this bike it just uh, looks so amazing it sounds amazing uh, I was I was watching you and having a big smile on my face so thank you so much for doing it David what do you think uh, how this bike feels because I wanted to do this 2001 and do as good as possible in the stack form maybe just do a little tweaking to engine but suspension everything else is stack how do you like it how does it feel compared to everything new that is on market now so uh first of all thank you for letting me ride it i i uh, always appreciate the work that goes into these older rebuilds because uh, i am in the process of doing one i've done some before and man they are a lot of work they're a lot of money and a lot of effort so i really appreciate what goes into it um and for me, it's a little bit of uh, kind of like stepping back in time because I was still racing professionally in 01. I was racing for factory KTM at the time, which were not great bikes. And Yamaha of Troy were riding these and they were amazing. And so it was fun for me to go back. And, and uh, the things that I felt, it's a much smaller bike, the whole rider compartment, which fits me great. Maybe a bigger guy would feel more comfortable on a modern bike, but these just felt really comfortable to me. Uh, the race tech guys absolutely crushed the suspension. Such a good feel. I can fly down these hills into those bumps and I wasn't worried. Sometimes with older suspension, even if you have a company revalve it, the components get worn out and it just it doesn't work great. This stuff worked really well. So I was really happy with just the handling, the way the thing turned and the suspension. As far as the motor goes, very crispy. Like uh, you said, Tom Morgan had given you a jetting spec and he pretty much nailed it. Maybe we were a touch fat in the middle, but the bottom was really snappy and crispy, and then up top was perfect. You know, well, that's something that I wouldn't feel. That's why I wanted you to ride this bike because these kind of things, like I have no idea. Because for me, it just feels good. Bottom is good, top is good, and I cannot really like feel these little details like in the middle. But you can pick it up real quick. Well, that's just a lot of years of racing professionally at this level. You've got to find the, every little mm -hmm. jetting was so important, right? So I got pretty good at even if. I wasn't the best at picking out the jets or jetting it, which I'm okay. I can tell the mechanic, hey, we're a little bit fat in the middle. Let's let's try either a leaner needle or a clip position. And so anyway, uh, it's subtle, but I think that's one little thing that could be cleaned up. But it pulls it, it, it. Like I said, the jetting was nice and clean on the bottom, so just a little touch of the clutch and the thing's going. And really strong pull through the mid, and then a nice nice pull over over the top. You know, um, maybe you could get a little more over rev with an ignition, but. Uh, for what you're using this for, that would be high-level racing stuff. Mm -hmm. This has a really nice usable power. That's what's fun about it. Um, doesn't doesn't take a lot to get going. The, the extra few cc's you put in there kind of help that pick up. Yeah. And then the pull through the middle is super fun. I mean, it's picking the front wheel up and you're you're going. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, and I had Chris Kiefer and his buddies up there go, man, that bike sounds good. So oh, cool. anytime I hear right that, on. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right on. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. Glad, glad to hear that. Yeah. Right on. And uh, how do you feel about the suspension? Because, uh, you know, I really don't want to touch it. Some people told me like, hey, how about you get the uh, SSS fork in it and then make it feel a little bit better. But I really wanted to have this 2001 and uh, have the race take good their magic and see how good that would be. And they set it up for me, but I'm way slower, right? I'm like slow, 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 but a little bit heavier than you. So maybe that kind of equalize it or? Uh, well, all I can tell you is it worked really well. I was surprised because again, you go back to 2001, it definitely wasn't the current SS fork that we have or SSS. So I was a little unsure how it would feel. And man, I, it, I had plenty of confidence coming into bumps, uh, landing hard off of things. No problem. You know, the first few laps, I'm always, anytime I ride a new bike that's older, yeah. kind of like, eh, what's this thing going to do? How's it going to feel? No worries. That, by two laps in, I was just going. Yeah, so, you, you look really good on it. Like, I was, as I said, I was watching you and just having a really good time. Well, I had a smile on my face under the helmet. A lot, lot of fun to ride. All right. Well, thanks a lot, David. Appreciate it. Always a pleasure, yeah. buddy. Thanks Ho for involving me. Hopefully, you work uh, more in the future when I do another build. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.